Welcome to Let's Set the Record Straight with your host, Tony Glover. We have here this evening, Wendy. Uh, Wendy, now, what is your background as far as education? Um, I have a Bachelor of uh, Arts and Computer Science, and I have a Master's of uh, Business Administration. Okay, very, very good. And the topic of discussion this evening is, are black men angry? Is that the question you're asking? Yeah, that's the question. All right. <laughs> I don't think that's a, a, how do you say it, a definite answer. I don't think you can go one way or the other. I think it's a split between the middle, maybe not an even middle, maybe not 50-50, but some black men are angry and some black men are not. I mean, there's I met plenty of wonderful black men and then met some that, that have some serious concerns and issues. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's among all races. I don't think it's a black or, let's say, any other um, ethnicity or race. So. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this, black men and black women, um, which we actually have, let's say, a distrust amongst each other, you know, kind of rooted down deep. And we know from the slavery times that always been the case. Okay. But with most black relationships that we see, you see it in Tyler Perry movies. There's some of the epitome, in my opinion, personal opinion, in regards to how black in black relationships as couples, how they how they act, how they behave. My question to you is, is that a deep-rooted distrust amongst black men and women? That's a hard thing to answer because I'd have to say it from my perspective. And from my perspective and my um, interactions with my male friends and my male relationships, we don't have deep-rooted deep anger because we trust from the start. Um, we start off as friends. Um, and I think the friend is the strongest relationship than a, let's say, a lover relationship. Once you have the friendship, there's no reason to mistrust. If you have your best guy friend, you know, you guys work it out. You talk it out. You're open communication. So um, my thought is no. Um, in my relationships. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there for different reasons, and they have different types of um, um, relationships. Some women are out to get something. Some men are out to get something. There's a lot of different situations, but for mine, I'm looking for a friendship in a guy, and from a friendship it expands to there. So the trust has been there from the beginning. If I can't be friends with him, then, then it's not going to, um, then we can't go forward. Okay, okay. Very well spoken, very well taken. Point very well taken. What are some of your bases that you base it off of as far as in, let's say, as far as relationship between black men and women? Let's say the non, instead of the dysfunctional relationship, regular, what are some of the bases that you look at? Well, first it has to be a common interest. Um, I think if we, if we have something in common, whether it be our, our, our profession, whether it be our um, our active, our what do you call these things? <laughs> Hobbies. Uh, those are that's a ground. That's something to start from. Like if we go to a club, let's say everyone goes to a club every now and then, hangs out. You're in a pool of people with all sorts of different interests. Now some of those you're going to pick out and you're going to have some things in common. But if you're just going out there hanging at the bar, the only interest you have is a bar, and a bar is not a um, a good basis to start with. I agree. So even church is a good one. Religion is a good one. If you guys have that basis and start on that, then. I think that's what is the foundation of building a strong and uh, healthy relationship. Okay, absolutely. Um, and I like to use the term emotional brothers. The black woman, um, as a single parent, they have children and they're raising these little boys who become men eventually. And they take on, let's say, like the woman attributes as far as the emotions. And would you say that that has a lot to do with the incarceration rate and, and uh, crime and all this other stuff? That's a loaded question, so I'm going to repeat it back to you. You're asking if, because the um, because of single parenthood, are you asking that the guys take on a more emotional role and don't get the, the, the mixture of a, a, a male figure in the household, so they take on more female characteristics, right. and then for they go in, incarcerate? Right, yes. Uh, I think that's, those are huge, <laughs> that's a huge leap to, to put that. I think perhaps more the male isn't sure what his maybe his role is, and this is a pure speculation. And perhaps then he tries to make up for it by what he sees out there, and he's not sure he's missing that other half. Perhaps he's missing that that strong male figure. Okay. So he's making up for that by acting tough, going out there and doing things he shouldn't do. Okay. That's that's my guess. Okay. Um, it may be a little bit of. Um, Uncertainty, unsure, because the mother takes on kind of a heavier role too. She's not necessarily the nurturer, but she's also the the one who gives the discipline. Exactly. So, um, so I think that's a that's a tough role, and you know, I'm going to say from my opinion is it should be two people in the household, and it should be a male and a woman, Absolutely. a man and a woman. So, Absolutely. I can't say we can leap and say it it causes incarceration though. 
Okay. But there are probably some situations that lead up to that because that of lead that. up to that. Because okay. you have people with two parents in the household, and they still go go to jail for whatever reason. It could be the neighborhood. It could be, I don't know. There's a lot of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next question is: Is that black women or women in general that seem to pick? I'd say for black women, for black men, since it's black issues, black women that particularly pick black men that are angry. Why is that? Why is it that they seem to like the more of the bad, violent, criminal type uh, thug? I guess you could call it that right. way. The ones that don't treat thug them, mentality. The, the ones that don't treat them so well, right? The ones that are, are um, yeah, the bad bad boys. You mean? Yes. I think there's a little bit of excitement in the in the bad boy. Um, it's kind of trying to win that love, whereas a guy who's so sweet and sensitive, it's like he's already there for you, he's there, he's doing everything. But the bad boy, you have a little bit more mis mysterious. Um, you want to see that soft side come out, so you try so hard to do everything, even though he may he never may never break, and a lot of bad boys never break. Um, I think it's hold that mystery in the whole trying to figure out the puzzle. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a valid will point uh, <laughs> taken. And I hear it so many times, but... I guess as a, a black man myself trying to figure out as to why that is truly, and I know there's no rhyme or reason to it, mm -hmm. but the, the point you made in regards to that, it's very, I can see the point of it and, and some things. And some bad boys are just surface bad boys and that they have a defense where they can't express their feelings. So mm -hmm. um, not all bad boys are pure. There's that. There's a very sensitive guy. There's the people in the middle that has the bad boy and the sensitive side will come out once he trusts you. And then there's that bad boy who doesn't care about anything but to screw people over. Okay. So okay. I think there's a you know a spectrum of that. Absolutely. Though. Yeah. And some would say it would appear that some women, I would say some now, you say all, but some are attracted to, like you said, to that type of uh, person as opposed to the other guy. Because I know there's, uh, well, we got the thugs today, the guys that wear the pants off the... Right, that's not going to work. But you got to think about, you know, it depends on where you are in your life, okay? But if I can't take him around my peers, he, if he can flip it on and flip it off, then that's a different story. But I can't take that necessarily around my, my co... You know, I can't take him to a corporate dinner if he's not, if he doesn't right. know how to act. Exactly. Now, he can do that in the street, but if he, if he can't mm -hmm. clean up, then... <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Okay, very, very good. So that would actually put you in the statistics of the undergrads as well as the graduates in this country for black women, which are 64%. Okay. Okay, and then uh, that would also put you with that. Now, I know there's another category. Now, Oprah did this, I believe that's a couple of years ago, that they were saying that 70% of black women in this country are single. Mm hmm. Do you agree with that as well as far as those statistics? That most of the women are single? Mm -hmm. I would think so. I mean, mm -hmm. most of the p females I know, some are married, but for the most part, most of my, yeah, I would say mm -hmm. a lot of them are single. Because we're talking educated black women now. Yep. I mean, and, they, and they're one of the, and I see in the Essex magazine, uh, Ebony and the rest of them, and the topic is, is that I'm a good black woman. Why is it that I cannot find, where are all the good black men? That's, that was the, that's the topic. Right. Or, uh, what is the other one? A strong black woman. Correct. You know, so it's like they have felt like they have done all the things properly in regards to education, um, you know, waiting before they get married and stuff. Now they have acquired, let's say, the scholastics of it, but still they're still single. And, you know, of course, there's more women to men in the population anyways. And if you put the, the, the number of men that are, let's say, in jail or the... The number who aren't educated, we'll put it that way, um, you kind of have to have that, you want a person of your equality. You know, I'm not saying that he has to be educated, he mm -hmm. just has to have the, the quality. He can be, um, he can be a, a landscaper, but he has to have that level of intelligence, so I, I, I think that's um, a struggle as well. Okay. Because I guarantee you some of those single women probably could be married to something, but it may not be the, the something of their choice. That's another question I was going to ask because since we're talking on that too, um, they had a thing about um, should um, black women settle 
I think that's their decision. I mean, if you feel comfortable with, I mean, I don't, the word settle is a hard, hard word to, to kind right. of define. It, yeah, it is. It's a hard thing. <laughs> because I'm not going to settle for anything that I'm not satisfied with. Mm-hmm. If you go to a store and you get something and, and, and you paid or you, I don't know, you're just not going to settle for something you don't want okay. just to be married or, or, um, mm-hmm. it, it, it's, it makes no sense okay. <laughs> to me. Okay. Um, like I could be, I could be married if I wanted to, but I chose to look for the happiness and what I would actually have in common, how we could build together. Right. Um, I don't need just a ring on my finger. I don't. I don't need that. Okay. Okay. That's that's a status thing, and I understand people always wonder. You know, you're you're this age, you have your degree, you look decent, you're a pretty good woman. Right. Why aren't you married? Right. Yeah. But right. We'll get rid of those stereotypes and just say right. I'm happy as I am right now. Mm-hmm. And what's that? I can do bad all by myself. Right. I don't need to bring in a um, a person if they're not gonna fulfill me and compliment me and, and build me. Up, absolutely, so. absolutely, right. And that's, a, that's another point well taken, though. I got I must say, <laughs> Wendy, that's well well taken. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it up. I know it's winding down now. I'll probably leave with this, though. Do you have anything that you would like to address or say in regards to this topic or topics in general? Not necessarily, but I just think that, how do you say it? I, um, people need to be optimistic and, and keep open, both the males and the females. It's not... Uh, more or less it's not a, a you against me thing right we kind of have to work together be a little bit more trusting be a little bit more open-minded um go in for for friendship go in for the experience don't expect more out of it than you're given you know right i don't know it, it's life's too short just enjoy it <laughs> right right absolutely though well that's another point well taken though I really appreciate you for coming on the show this evening, spending a little time <laughs> with me, fun. though, you know. <laughs> Thank you this so much. Fun. I may bring you back again for a follow-up. Yeah, it helps and me then, think about things, too. Absolutely, so. though, because like I said, you know, this is just something that I enjoy doing as well. You know, my background is in film. And people don't That's really know no, so yeah thank you journalism is a little bit on the side so so these are some of the things kind of let the cat out the bag a little bit <laughs> okay you take care of me okay we'll get you next time okay all right we'll go ahead and end it right there though. all right thank you yeah no problem